Hey ladies, so as you see, I done took off my shirt, took off that makeup. Now I am ready to start washing some hair. So as you know, I'm going to be reviewing the Pretty Kinky Naturals. And this is the actual Cocoa Tea Moisturizing Shampoo. It's still nicely sealed and I want to open everything with you guys. So let's get started. And I guess I should have bought in some scissors because this is nicely sealed which is good for packaging and you know going through the postal system okay okay so in my first video if you haven't seen it you can go check that out i'll have it linked below i just wanted to i didn't open anything because i wanted to actually do like a first impressions and see how everything smells during the actual process which I think is good. I can just tell you right now, as soon as I crack that seal, all I smell is like mint. So I'm going to open it up. Very minty. And it's very, um, let me see here. I'm just going to pour some out in my hand because I'm going to wash my hair. So as you see, it's very, very creamy. And it has that marbleized look now i've heard when you have products that have that marbleized look that indicates it has moisturizing properties so that is an excellent excellent thing i know a little bit of something about you know <laughs> some products um but um yeah so that's definitely a good thing and i'm just gonna go through it again and let you guys know like the first few um products are and I did mention it in my last video and I mentioned it again everything in these products you can actually read and understand so you know exactly what you're putting in your hair everything is natural and I will say it again I am not a natural hair Nazi but it is good to find some really good products that are all natural and that are affordable for us so I'm gonna get into it and it's gonna be herbal tea with purified water I have here coconut milk aloe vera gel, extra virgin coconut oil, and again, I, I mean, everything here, I'm just reading off so you will know. I'm just going to put that in here. So, I can't show you me actually washing my hands. I put the camera in the shower, and I don't have any help, so I'm going to go wash my hair. And as you see how it looks, now I'll take this band off. Because you know I'm not going to be putting bands in my head. And this is an extra large one, so it's not really tight on my head. But you know I'm not supposed to be wearing bands because I did have an issue up in here. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's kind of, it's gone now. It's kind of a short piece. I can't find it. Here it goes. You see? Where is it? It's like a short piece. But my whole scalp is grown back, so. You can see, and that came from me wearing my hair in a high puff, and the band was actually too tight. So now, I still wear my hair in a high puff, but I make sure the band is extremely, extremely loose, so my puff, and my puffs are not like this anymore. They're pretty much just like like that. So I'm hoping with all these products, you know, I can see some growth, and I'm looking forward to using that um, rosemary hair growth oil to kind of get my little my little tender spots up in there working so i'm gonna wash my hair and i'm gonna be right back okay ladies so i just finished washing my hair i'm sure you hear my my tub my <laughs> my tub is draining out for me washing my hair i will say my hair feels clean did you see how i have major shrinkage my hair does feel soft i will say that now if you're looking for something that's going to be very sudsy, excuse me, so if you're looking for like a product that's going to be sudsy and you're going to get all those bubbles and foam and all that, you're not going to get that from here. And you need to shake the product up, of course, but what I, I will say, your hair will be clean. My hair does feel clean, my scalp feels clean, and as you guys know, I have not washed my hair in like three weeks due to me having my twist and things like that. So this was a definitely a really good example for me. My hair does have a little sheen to it, I will say that. And I can pull through it. 
Now, normally when I wash my hair with other shampoos, I'm not saying I'm not trying to, you know, go extreme and start bigging up a shampoo or nothing like that. But what I will say is if I wash my hair with something that does have sulfate in it, I know this doesn't have sulfate in it, my hair will get really, really mad. And I would have to take a comb and kind of go through it or my fingers wouldn't really go through the hair. So I will say that my hair is very, you know, you can see that I'm able to, you know, loosen up my hair. So that's one thing that I do, I have noticed with this. And again, I don't use that much natural, natural product. So when I do use it, I can definitely tell the difference. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, since my hair is nicely washed, it's fresh, my scalp feels clean, my actual hair feels clean. Only thing missing, it did not have the suds. But if you like suds, because sometimes suds are like a psychological thing. If you see suds, that means you're cleaning your hair. Not necessarily, but it didn't. in the beginning, it did bother me. I was looking for my hair to lather, and my hair not lather. But I was able to put the product in my hand, and since it's, a, it's a, um, more of a looser product, I had to, for me, and maybe not for you, I had to pour a lot in my hand because I wanted to make sure that I got it all through my hair. But if you just, if you're not that kind of like conscious person, you have to have like heavy duty products. See, I just go through products. So that's why I used a lot of it. But I'm going to use the deep condition because again, my hair has not been washed. And I'm going to treat my hair really, really nice today. Okay, so my tub is still draining out. I was in there getting it. I was washing my hair. So, I'm just going to mix it up, you know, because sometimes, you know, a lot of products, they settle. Okay. It smells, it smells fresh. Like my, I feel, fr it smells fresh and clean. Okay. So I'm just going to grab a whole glump of it. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to use way more than this because Kelly has to feel it. So as you see, it is green. so freaking good. I'm just going to take some and put it in my little weak areas. Okay. So my tub is finished now, so I hope you can hear me a little bit better. I should have not been so anxious and just waited until the tub stopped draining. But... It's a very soft product. The texture is not thick. It's a very soft product and it's whipped. So it's like airy. So for you ladies that don't mind, you know, I like thick products. But when it comes to conditioners and stuff, I'm, I'm okay with that. Only thing I like to have thick is my twisting creams and things of that nature. I'm just trying to work it all the way through. You probably hear my daughter. She's out there playing with family and watching cartoons and stuff. So they're out there having a ball. I'm a bad hostess, so I'm in here making videos. <laughs> but they are. Right. So I just want to make sure I get it in and rub it in. Okay. And I probably didn't even need this much, but just me, I like to make sure that everything is coated. That's with anything. I just want to make sure everything is coated. Just making sure it's in there. 
So as you can see, my hair is definitely shrinking. The product is in. I'm just a, such a product. I'm just like a product whore. Like I just can't get enough. I need to stop. Okay. So let me get a um a shower cap. Put it on. Okay. Got a nice little shower cap. Clean off the jar. And I didn't use that much. I mean, you probably saw me applying a lot. But I use like probably half the damn jar. <laughs> but that's how I do. That's how I do. And if it's a good product, you know, I will definitely spend the money on it if I see how my hair turns out. And I don't have a problem with getting two uses or maybe three uses out of a product. It's okay. Because, I mean, it's for our hair. So, it says here... Section here, apply from root to tip, which I did not do. I just put it all over my head and then I worked it in. I massaged it in, as you saw, and I went over my tips and um, made sure that the product was over. And I am secure, I am sure and secure that I have reached every area. It says cover with cap, so I did that. Okay, it says let it um, sit for 20 to 30 minutes and then rinse. And if I want to do a deeper condition, I can sit under the dryer. I don't have a sit under dry, so I won't be doing that. And the benefits of this, it will strengthen normal dry, brittle hair, increases lacticity, protects and nourish hair follicles, repairs damaged hair, detangle, moisturize, and softens. So I'm going to let this sit in my hair for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to come back, wash it out, and we're going to start twisting and putting some oil in our hair. Okay, ladies, so I added in my hair for about 45 minutes. I didn't sit under a dryer. I want to let you know I'm going to take it off. Of course, my hair is very warm. doesn't feel any different from what it did, you know, 45 minutes ago. If it, it definitely feels like I don't have anything in my hair, which is a good thing. Because not having that feel, my hair doesn't feel weighed down like something is cold in my, my, my hair strands. So... It, my head feels like light, light, very, very light. Okay, so I'm just looking through it, feeling it, you know, just like massaging it. <laughs> Let me go rinse this out. Okay, so I rinsed everything out. I'm sure you hear my tub again. And it did rinse out green, of course, because the actual product is green. Okay. Ooh. I need to get one of those um, like terry cloth towels so it won't like suck up all the moisture out of my hair like a regular towel would do like what this is doing I can definitely say my hair feels absolutely light I mean it just feels so freaking light like I don't have no hair on my head it just feels it feels good it, it really does I'm impressed I'm really impressed Okay, so I should have bought an extra towel in here because this towel is drenched. Okay, so as you can see, I hope you can see really good. My hair, it just, it feels clean. You probably can see my gray hairs. <laughs> okay, it just feels really, really clean. I'm looking in the mirror over here as well. But it just feels clean. It doesn't feel like, like matted. It just feels good. And you know, like my hair, having 4C hair, we is and I've, and I personally feel just because you have 4C hair, there's still different types of 4C hair to me. Cause that's just like 4C is meaning it's kinky, it's coarse. Because some ladies who have 4C hair, they have really coily hair and things like that. I have no curl pattern as you see. It's just pure, just hair. Um, but you see my scalp is, is very clean. I, I definitely do that because, you know, having build up in your hair, you look at your scalp and I didn't show you guys where the breakage was up here. You can see it really good now because my hair is clean and you can see right here. I had the breakage and that was from where the band had stopped. But you see how it is growing back. It's just, 
wonder if you can see that. I don't know. But anyway, let's get back on to this. Okay, so I wasn't going to use the spray, which is the revitalizing daily spritz, but it says it detangles, softens scalp, enhances curl, so no, soothes scalp. Enhances curls, softens, moisturize, adds shine and luster, strengthens hair strands, and pair with um, honey shade twisting cream to seal. So that's what I'm going to do. But um, I'm going to use some of this oil. This is what I've been waiting for. And this too. I guess this little whole trio here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this video up. And I'm going to do a part two because I don't want to make this video really, really long. So check out part two, which will be featuring all the three other products. Don't forget, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up the video. Don't forget to check out Pretty Kinky Natural.